Ladies and gentlemen, this is the ambassador of the World Wrestling Network, Trevin Adams. We are coming to you from the WWN WrestlePlex in Tampa Bay, Florida, and this is WWN Proving Ground. What a way to kick things off here tonight, ACW Cruiserweight Championship match. We saw Alex Todd push Bobby Flacco to the limit just a few weeks ago. It was Flacco who actually said, Alex Todd, you want another shot? You'll get another shot, and that shot is right now here on Proving Ground. And his opponent, Kelly from Moulin, Georgia, weighing in 160 pounds, he is the reigning and defending ACW Cruiserweight Champion, the Wild Card, Bobby Flacco! Indeed, Flacco is a wild card, a young man who has worked so hard we have watched him grow up in the ring here in the world wrestling network and tonight kicking off proving ground as only bob can as they say bob's here and speaking of here look i, I get there you go I, I get through the magic of technology i'm able to do commentary remotely but but Robbie K doesn't have to be so happy I'm not there. If anything, I'll tell you, I'm happy he's not next to me right now. And that's all I have to say about Robbie K. Flacco, a two-time AZW Cruiserweight Champion, a former three-time WWE 4 Tag Team Champion, a former WWE 4 Internet Champion. We've talked a lot about Bob's history, not just here in the World Wrestling Network, but in AR Fox's WWE 4, which we'll be talking about again later tonight in our main event when Alex Kane, one of Bobby Flacco's running buddies, gets to face off against Jake Logan in one heck of a Haas fight. But right now, Bobby Flacco's got to be thinking about this young man. Considers himself unbreakable. The Prince of Souls, Alex Todd. You can see Bob going for the mad action, but Alex Todd with a great answer. Tying up Bob, but Bob doing everything he can. Trying to float over. Nearly forcing a pinfall, but you see how quick Todd... In fact, a pin of his own, no. I was going to say you saw how quick Todd got that shoulder up. Tossing him over his Todd. A great head scissors by Bobby Flacco. And again, Todd escapes. Bit of a stalemate here. And like I said, Alex Todd pushed Flacco to the limit just a few weeks ago here on Proving Ground. Getting a huge opportunity here tonight. But the boot by Flacco stopping Alex Todd. And in fact, how about that? Beautiful Lucha arm drag. Ducking the clothesline is Flacco. Springboard, crossbody, pitfall. Two count only. Champions looking great right now. And a beautiful basement drop kick reeling. Alex Todd into the corner, but Todd gets the boot up. And I'll tell you, Alex Todd, man, I keep talking about the growth 
What an arm drag there. And another. Beautiful. Of course, from the Isle of Puerto Rico, Alex Todd of Zone Lucha background pitfall. Both men, though, trained in so many different styles here in the sport of professional wrestling. Flacco talks about learning Spanish, working on the farm. If you follow Bobby Flacco on, on social media, you'll see him on the farm to this day. But right now, he's getting beaten like a, uh, like a somebody might call it a government mule. Are those on farms? I don't know. But what I know is Alex Todd with a kick to the small of the back of Bobby Flacco. And you can see Flacco now having to fight for oxygen. Alex Todd definitely got his game face on. You got to think, if I'm Alex Todd, I know if I am not victorious here tonight for the ACW Cruiserweight Championship, now there's a high likelihood it's going to be a while before I get another shot. Pinfall, two count only, but man, again, Alex Todd fighting off Bobby Flacco. In fact, tossing Flacco over. Pinfall, and again, two count only. Challenger, though, looking great here in this matchup. Once again, what an awesome way to kick off WWE Improving Ground. Elbow does not connect. Flacco gets out of the way. But it didn't stop Todd for long, but perhaps that chin breaker will. You can see Todd backing his way into the corner here. The boot now of Bobby Flacco catching Alex Todd. Todd again tearing into the corner here. What a chop by Bobby Flacco. X Factor out of the corner. That might be it right there. When we talk about Bobby Flacco being a bit fun loving. This is definitely a moment he should be following up here. And now he finally does with that kick. But he's giving Alex Todd time to recover. Splash. Now the pinfall. Two count only. And I mean, common sense there, not, not to be rude to the champion, but again, Alex Todd had the time to recover, but you can see damage has still been done to Todd, and speaking of damage, what a kick to the small in the back by Bobby Flacco, but Alex Todd is asking for more, you're kidding me! What a chop there, Flacco. That was a bit more of a, uh, ooh! What a kick. I was going to say that was a little more of a serious bops here. I, I wasn't sure if he was saying to one another, but obviously uh, Alex Todd. Another splash from Flacco. Pinfall. Two count only. Todd kicks out, but I'm not sure if uh, this is one of those situations where obviously Alex Todd's trying to show that he can hang and, and take a beating, but man, that's a heck of a, of a rope. But wait! Running powerbomb! Suddenly, Alex Todd, that one moment of adrenaline enough to get Bobby Flacco down, but now you can see we're in a situation. Two men on the mat. Someone needs to answer this 10 count. We're already up to five. Senior official Lee Canfield. Looks like he's saying that Bob broke the count. The European uppercut from Alex Todd and another. Flacco's reeling, caught with a heel kick by Todd. Challenger's looking phenomenal. You gotta be kidding me, Falcon's arrow, is this it? No! A hair away from a new ACW Cruiserweight Champion, but man, Alex Todd has momentum. He is on fire. Here, WWE Unfaithful trying to get behind the champion, but the thing is, Alex Todd, in fact, I'm starting to hear his name, Often has the WWE Unfaithful behind him, and you see Bob can't even get up. He's holding on to the leg for dear life, but muscled up by Alex Todd is Bobby Flacco. But Bob rolling through, pinfall. That sunset flip, not enough, but ooh, what a kick! That was brutal. And the next factor as well, followed by an ace crusher. That's gotta be it, pinfall. No! How is Alex Todd still in this thing? If you had any question what the ACW Cruiserweight Championship meant to Alex Todd, let alone what Alex Todd has, well, you're finding out right now. Not quite 
Well, you just heard not it. Quite, Bobby. Yeah. Today's not your day. You're not going to become champion, says Bobby Flacco. But Alex Todd right now, he's showing it's going to take a lot to keep him down. But perhaps this pedigree is going to be enough to do it if Bob can connect with it. Todd struggling. Taken down, Bob. Pinfall. Two count only here. But now backslide. Does it connect? Yes, pinfall. No. Rolling through. Attempting the ace crushers, Flacco. And again, a springboard, but a springboard into a German suplex. And Todd's not slowing down. Beautiful heel kick by Alex Todd. Lariat, are we having a new champion? No. How close was that? And now you can see the frustration on the face of Alex Todd here. Todd needs to keep the momentum going, needs to keep this offensive up if he's going to take down Flacco for as resilient as Alex Todd has been tonight. Man, Bob is that resilient every time he's in the ring. You can see again, Flacco's trying to hold on to the leg of Alex Todd, but Alex Todd now. Muscling up. Bobby Flacco, we're going to see what Alex Todd has in mind, but no, an escape. Whatever was attempted by Bob was counter, but not this time. Oh, wait, no. Great counter again by Alex Todd. Bob for a third time. An attempt at something, but instead caught by Todd. Sunset flip, pinfall. No, challenger escapes with a pinfall of his own. A pinfall, not enough to keep down the champion, but again, rolling through. Ooh, he got him. Man, Flacco outmaneuvering his opponent. You saw right there with the counter into the bridge and the pinfall. What a beautiful way to wrap up an awesome, awesome opening contest here on WWM Proving Ground. And man, I'll tell you, Alex Todd making an impression here tonight. Show respect as well. Absolutely. Top cruiserweights in all of WWN on display. Time is now. We're finally here. WWN. Tonight, me and D'Lo Jordan. Now, me and D'Lo Jordan met one time before, and he felt the wrath. And I know D'Lo Jordan is quick. D'Lo Jordan's got kicks and punches. A skilled MMA fighter. But one thing he doesn't have is the power. The power of Alpha Ace. American muscle. And tonight, he's going to learn no matter the time, no matter the place, nothing beats the ace. Last week on WWE Improving Ground, we had two WWE Open Season matchups. Tonight, we have a one. Concept is a WWN regular versus somebody coming from the outside, somebody looking to make an impression. But man, to have to face off against D'Lo Jordan. I'm excited to see Alpha Ace, American Muscle here, finally get that opportunity in WWN. But you are going up against one man who has been near Keyword near unstoppable thus far here in the proving ground. And if you can't tell, he uh, isn't exactly a fan favorite. 
so to speak here when it comes to the WWE and Faithful. Once again, the Alpha Ace, American Muscle. I am excited to get to see this young man in a WWN ring two years in the sport. Trained by Nightstick Eddie Brown at Ring Wars Carolina, as well as Lodi, yes, Lodi of WCW fame at the Team Fearless Training Academy. And you may recognize the Alpha Ace if you're not from, say, the Carolinas, because he fought EC3 in the narrative on Impact Wrestling same EC3 that we've seen all throughout the sport of professional wrestling, making uh, his own brand of controversy, if you will. Of course, Alpha Ace had faced D'Lo Jordan at Ring Wars Carolina. That was indeed the matchup that was mentioned earlier. And of course, D'Lo Jordan, a sore loser with the attack after the match on Alpha Ace. I don't know if I if I can tell there's any ginger in the uh, salt and pepper that's on the head there of Billy Grace, but nevertheless, no shocker that Tilo Jordan was the one who rose his hand and said, "Hey, give me Alpha Ace. I want an opportunity at him in a WWN ring." But dude, I'll tell you right now, look at the shape that Alpha Ace is in. In fact, of course, Tilo Jordan. Back it up and then some. You can tell Alpha Ace is no stranger to the shenanigans of D'Lo Jordan. But I'll tell you right now, this Alpha Ace has won countless bodybuilding events. He's even placed top five at the Mr. Olympia Amateur. Dude is a physical specimen. Now we get to find out does it translate in the ring and already looking great here could possibly tear the arm out of socket of D'Lo Jordan. But Jordan's smart move there, stopping on the foot of Ace, and now Ace having his arm twisted. You can see both guys jockeying for position here. Two athletes doing everything they can to take control. And now, again, Alpha Ace with that wrist control, doing a great job working the arm of D'Lo Jordan. But D'Lo is now forcing Alpha Ace back into the corner. Will we see a clean break from Jordan? Of course not. Big shocker there. And of course, taking advantage now is D'Lo Jordan. He's got the head of Alpha Ace. And Ace is trying now to escape a Jordan, man. It's got to feel like having a nutcracker on your head. The, the pressure now on American Muscle. But speaking of, what strength? D'Lo Jordan tossed into the corner by the Alpha Ace. You talk about the power that is Alpha Ace. You're seeing it on display, but of course you're seeing the finesse that is D'Lo Jordan. You're seeing the ability to strike. You're seeing that MMA training he's been doing recently. But again, the strength on display, but a counter fire. And I'll give it, I'll give it to Jordan. He is bringing it here against Alpha Ace, but man, Ace taking control. What a slam. You can see the pain writhing through the body of Jordan, and now Jordan muscled up. Beautiful suplex. And a pinfall. Two count only, but right now, Alpha Ace looking great here. You gotta think there's a lot of talent at Ring Wars Carolina. Watching intently, keeping an eye on both of these athletes, both regulars there in Ring Wars. You gotta think they're very curious to see on this stage, this international stage, who will be victorious. And if D'Lo Jordan has his way, it's gonna be Jordan. You see him right now, Jordan, taking advantage of the ring as a weapon. What a kick there. And this is where the experience differential, Jordan, Upwards of a decade, whereas Muscle is mentioned about two years. And his arm right now 
could be in a lot of trouble when it comes to Alpha Ace. D'Lo had taken advantage, forcing the Alpha Ace to chase him down, and instead now it is Jordan smelling the blood in the water like a shark. Look at the strikes here from Jordan. Alpha Ace definitely in trouble. And now the armbar. And I'll give it to Jordan. He's doing everything he can, going for that submission, but credit as well to the Alpha Ace, holding on as hard as he can, making it so that Jordan can't quite slip things in all the way. And in fact, you're seeing here, Muscle trying to find his way up. Jordan, though, refusing to let go. But now finally the pin. Great counter there by the Alpha Ace, forcing D'Lo Jordan to break the hole. But damage, you got to think, has been done to that arm between the post, between the attempt right there at the arm bar, and all the struggling that the Alpha Ace had to do to fight off D'Lo Jordan. But I'll give it. I'll give it to the Ace. You can see right now, there's a ton of fight in this young man. Caught, though, by Jordan. Kicks now. Jordan very smart with his offense. You don't see wasted motion, but what you just saw there was a man's head nearly kicked off his head. Alpha Ace in trouble. And as much as I have been impressed by the strength of the Alpha Ace right now, you are seeing D'Lo Jordan show that he can dissect you when he controls the pace of the match, but a great counter by the Ace. Shoulder tackles, big shoulders, 200 pounds of muscle is the Alpha Ace. And a belly to belly, what muscling up by the Alpha Ace. Jordan's in trouble, pitfall. Jordan able to get his shoulder up, man. I, I, I gotta tell you, I cannot imagine the force at which that belly to belly suplex took down Jordan, but Jordan with the strike of his own, just when I'm questioning, What's left in the tank for D'Lo Jordan? He's still fighting. The drop kick now connecting. You're finding the Alpha Ace reeling now. This war of attrition between these two athletes. Definitely an impressive battle. I'm constantly impressed by how D'Lo Jordan, when he takes things seriously, how good he is. And you've seen him mostly in game mode here tonight. But Alpha Ace now in game mode. Beautiful arm drag there. He's sizing up for something. What do we have here? Your Nagi. I am so impressed by the strength of Ace. Pinfall. But Jordan just barely getting a foot on the rope. And I questioned, was Alpha Ace going to be able to pull Jordan far enough away from those ropes? Obviously, with great ring awareness is D'Lo Jordan. And Jordan now fighting off the Alpha Ace once again. But man, the beating both of these men have given each other and strength again on display with one arm. Slam it down, D'Lo Jordan is the Alpha Ace and you saw very smartly perhaps, Jar Jordan is making some separation here, getting outside of the ring. There's a 10 count, man, I wouldn't be surprised if Jordan took every second of that, perhaps all 10. All the way up to six now, and Alpha Ace, I think, was trying to show some patience, but instead now, he sees Jordan. Ace is chasing after him. But I think we just hit 10. Alpha Ace trying to catch D'Lo Jordan, but Jordan able to find a way to get both men counted out. You got to think things aren't over between these two. Great debut for the Alpha Ace. Here. 
I've been training at the WWNTC Training Center for about three or four months now. Hey everybody, it's WWN official Kai Douglas here at the WWN Training Center here in Newport Ritchie, Florida, where you can learn everything from your in-ring to your entrance. You can work on everything from referee times, working with an official, getting that real match experience, things that you can't learn at other schools. If you ever wanted a career in professional wrestling, it starts right here at the WWNTC. We offer a 14-month tuition. Every fashion professional wrestling business that you want to learn, we will teach. All we ask of you is when you walk through that door, you give us 100% dedication because we're going to give you our best, and we want that best from you. 727-401-2836, give me a call. Test yourself. You want to create that inner superstar? Come see me right here at WWNTC. With that being said, be on the lookout for me in the future. Oh my god, that's so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Doyle Day has the mic. Knows how to endear in himself to the WWE faithful, but excited to see this young man Christian Mills back here in a WWN ring. Yeah, exactly. And I don't blame you, young man. Of course, in Doyle Day's mind, he's gonna make stars tonight. Every one of these 
Young Talents getting to face off against Doyle Day will be that much better. Of course, Doyle Day is going to win. At least that's what I'll tell you. man with about two years in the sport getting an opportunity again here tonight in a WWF ring but he's gotta think something's a bit familiar in his mind and I'll come back to that in just a moment Brian Atomic though excited to see what he can do with his second chance here in a WWF ring a young man the background in baseball and track you definitely see has an athletic build but tonight here obviously the sport is professional wrestling and well not only does he believe he's the best he believes he's atomic i'll let him explain that one to you sometime Don't be confused, this is every man for himself here tonight. This hero, who ha hasn't even been in the sport yet for a year, gets another opportunity here in WWM Proving Ground. I hinted that Brian Atomic has to feel deja vu. Christian Mills has to feel deja vu. And Hero has to feel some deja vu because these three young men participated in a fatal four-way that also involved Jake Logan, who we'll see later on tonight in our main event. And of course, Jake Logan victorious that night but you gotta think there's a dynamic. You gotta think Mills. And of course, Atomic and Haro, especially given trained together and so forth, already know each other well. And, and, and has Doyle Day made a bit of a mistake here? Has he made a bit of a mistake here in choosing these four athletes? Did he not realize, perhaps, the background they have? And you can already see right now, Haro going after Atomic and Christian Mills going after Doyle Day. Doyle Day definitely will tell you he is the uh, one of the most affluent men in all of professional wrestling, and um, I would love to see his tax returns. But are we going to see a bit of an alliance? Ooh! In fact, two slaps there. Doyle Day getting nasty here with Brian Atomic. Day definitely the veteran, been in the sport for a darn long time. Heard something about dinosaurs roaming the earth. But they caught by Atomic. Atomic now. Crossbody. Rolling through, though. What's Atomic got in mind this time? Flying head scissors there. Turning over Doyle Day. Doyle Day. Counter of his own. Goes for a clothesline. And I think whatever Day had in mind, getting out of the way was Brian Atomic. And the young Brian Atomic very pleased with himself. But guess what? Haro now. Whatever he had attempted, able to escape was Atomic. But guess what? Look at the athleticism, the agility here of the big man Haro. And a beautiful head scissors of his own. But Atomic cartwheeling through. It was a very pretty way to counter. But you gave way too much time to Haro with a phenomenal like lariat. And a power slam for your trouble, Atomic. Christian Mills now, whoopee cushion, taking down Haro. Yes, I said whoopee cushion. Drop kick from Mills. Haro now in trouble. And you've heard us say this before. You need eyes in the back of your head here in a multi-man situation. And speaking of which, the man who named a match after himself, the Doyle Day multi-man challenge here. Day now taking out all of the competitors. And once again, on planet Doyle Day, not only is he the best, but he thinks, well, more is better. And he wants as many people possible to face off against him, but guess what just happened there? You got Christian Mills full of PNB, a great land, and he throws Haro back into the ring. But Doyle Day stopping Mills, dumping Mills head first there into the apron, and now it's Haro and Doyle Day facing off here. A 
Watch WWE Faithful trying to get behind Haro. Sport wise, this is a young man with experience in football, track, weightlifting. Of course, none of that matters when you're here in the sport of professional wrestling as Doyle Day in control. Atomic now, along with Doyle Day, forcing everybody down. Pitfall. Two count only, and I don't know if you caught there. Great move by Atomic, trying to better great find that leg. But it's impressive. Doyle Day was going for perhaps a double DDT, and it was forced by Brian and Atomic, who came flying off the top rope. I'll tell you, Atomic's been looking good in this matchup, but Doyle Day now... Again, in control. And like I said, experience-wise, man, you can add up the experience of all three of these other young men, and Doyle Day still has them trumped. But the question, of course, is youth able to defeat experience, and Doyle Day now with some flash. And an ace crusher out of nowhere. You hear the chance of no. I think even Doyle Day is, is finding it hard to believe he's in control right now and took too long. Haro with a boot there from the running back in D3 college football, but caught by Brian Atomic. Two men jockeying for position here. I don't even know what to call that. It was like a core screw. But here's Christian Mills before he can even breathe or think. What a pile driver! Atomic's in trouble. Pitfall. Christian Mills wins! I'll tell you, it's been a long road for Christian Mills here in WWE Improving Ground, but finally picking up a big win here tonight. And, well, Trooper Doyle Day will have some form of revisionist history. But what we all just saw, what the record books will show is Christian Mills victorious. Got to give it to Haro and very impressed by Brian Atomic in this matchup. All young talents I hope to see here in the sport of professional wrestling continue to grow. Yes, Doyle Day is still down, still trying to figure out where Undefeated. he is. Undefeated. Clearly, we did not have a long enough interlude there scheduled again. Thank you guys so much for joining us here for Not WWE so. Improving Ground. We still have one heck of a main event to come. And you can see Doyle Day asking, did I win? Senior official Lee Canfield's at a loss what to do. These two have known each other for a long time as well. Both hanging out in that Virginia, Maryland area. Don't take that the wrong way. It doesn't mean they're running buddies. It just means that Lee has, unfortunately for him, known Doyle Day for a long time. But if there's anything we know. I'll be back. I'm the reason you all watch this damn show. Well, he just beat me to it. If there's anything we know, Doyle Day will be back. And if you want to check out the entire library video on demand of the World Wrestling Network, as well as iPay-Per-Views Live as part of your subscription, it is Club WWN, WWNLive.com. All right, this is the, oh, I mean, a couple of the main event. You guys know? Yeah. Hey, have I said before? Pasco County legend right there in Sideshow. <laughs> Not sure if you're dating yourself with that reference there, Sideshow.
You want to talk about a man who has made a statement, a man who has stood out here in WWN Proving Ground over the last few months. It is Jake Logan. He comes with a heritage from the state of Texas that is laden in championship gold. And my hunch is he has his eyes on gold here in the World Wrestling Network. I think it's just a matter of time. Wrestling for over a decade. But tonight, he's going to face a guy that's as big and tough as he is. seen Alex Kane here before in the World Wrestling Network, but ending 2020, standing out as part of WWN League Wars Season 1, Episode 1, it was featuring WWA4, that's AR Fox's school and promotion out of Atlanta, Georgia, WWA4ATL.com. Alex Kane, man, had one heck of a match against Damian Dangra, who we saw last week here on WWE Proving Ground. That stood out so much. We're with me, call it all the action. Don't want no short breath, man. Don't want no wonder, wonder, don't get no short breath, man. Who is this? That speaks for itself, but nevertheless, Alex Kane standing out so much. They are Fox. Pull your man back. Here the WWE we'll think about Jake Logan, but he pulled back Alex Kane, had him talk about about how he felt. And like I said, not a lot of guys can size up against Jake Logan. Alex Kane is one of them, and as he called it, Suplex Island. Well, that's where he sends his opponents on one-way flights via the Suplex Express. Got that mix of power and the speed and the wrestling ability. But right now, these two bulls, a hoss fight as we put it, jockeying for position here. The question is who's gonna get the better as things get started here in, in Logan now. Thought was gonna be able to keep Alex Kane in the corner, but instead you can see both guys again, jockeying for position. Yeah, good luck with that. Official Billy Gray's trying to tell these guys to get out of the corner, but you're seeing here Alex Kane. Yes, he finally, finally complied. What a struggle between these two men. And you see now Jake Logan struggling, trying to force Alex Kane to break this hold. And of course, you can still hear the WWE Unfaithful. Not fans of Jake Logan, and I'm not shocked. Logan trying to fight off Kane. Kane still refusing to let go, but finally. Creating some separation was Jake Logan, but an immediate shoulder tackle from Alex Kane. Yeah, if, I'm, if I'm Jake Logan, I, I gotta think a little twice. Do I try to bully on Alex Kane? You see Kane, of course, refusing to back down, but Jake Logan, he is that good, but so is Alex Kane. Elbow from Logan, he's got Kane reeling. Where's Jake Logan going? In the count now, the 10 count is Jake Logan. And Jake Logan, I think, was trying for a baseball slide, but was caught by Alex Kane. And Kane now clubbing on Jake Logan. As I already mentioned, Alex Kane trained by AR Fox. He's seen guys fly. Think about it. Every Thursday night in Atlanta, WWE 4's Pro Wrestling Academy, they hold events. You got to have guys flying from the Raptors when it comes to agility and the different styles. Kane's faced them all, and it's every week he gets that opportunity. And right now, you're seeing the strength on display. After the agility, the belly to belly with authority, after that drop kick, Kane's looking phenomenal. What do we got here? A big slash. Pinfall. Two count only, but Jake Logan definitely showing the effects already of this matchup. Perhaps that was the Mark of Kane getting put together there by Alex Kane, but fighting away is Jake Logan, and instead with a lariat, 
huge lariat. The big Texan from Amarillo, Texas. Obviously incredibly proud of the fact he's the youngest NWA national champion in history. Because he won't let you forget. So don't take nothing away from Jake Logan. Not only as I already mentioned, because he held gold throughout all of Texas, but he is definitely on a trajectory here in WWN, turning the heads of WWN officials across numerous WWN brands. And you got to think a victory here tonight will continue to do that. But guess what? Same with Alex Kane. And what a chop to Kane. I can tell you with confidence, WWN officials have desperately wanted to get Alex Kane back into a WWN ring after seeing the improvement, what we saw in December at WWN League Wars Season 1, Episode 1. Of course, Kane had been in American combat wrestling before. Participated in numerous WWN seminars. And right now getting a seminar of a boot from Jake Logan to the face. So the improvement in Kane has been monumental. But right now, Jake Logan in control. And even for myself personally, seeing Jake Logan first back in the fall this year, springing into Florida, coming into WWN here in the Proving Ground. He's just turned all the heads. And look at the agility landing on the feet. Does, does Logan as well as now taking out the feet and stopping on the hands of Alex Kane. Shining Wizard, smart offense from Jake Logan. Kane's in trouble. Is this it? No, but man, that was close. Incredibly impressed am I right now by Jake Logan. And speaking of impressed, I think I've mentioned this a few times now. That same day in December that Alex Kane was turning heads during the iPay-Per-View League Wars, you had Jake Logan participating in a seminar with A.R. Fox. And Fox was so impressed by the matchup that Jake Logan had. He literally said, I have no advice for you. You've got it. You know what you're doing. You've got the offense, and you're seeing it right here. You've got the killer instinct, and we're seeing the killer instinct. Is this going to be it? Two count only. But man, was that close. And that's the thing. Alex Kane, about two and a half years in the sport now, facing off against the veteran in Jake Logan. you got to think for Kane, of course, this is learning on the job, so to speak. But if there's anybody with the natural ability, and if there's anybody who in two and a half years has gotten as good as some guys take 10 years to get, it is Alex Kane. And perhaps now we're seeing some signs of life here from Alex Kane. And a boot again catching Jake Logan. And gut wrench suplex by Alex Kane. That's 225 pounds thrown across the ring with ease. Suplex Assassin living up to that moniker right now. Alex Kane getting to his feet by his own fruition. Whereas, of course, in the case of Jake Logan, using the ropes very smartly, mind you, to get to his feet. You can see Logan perhaps could be in trouble or not. Just when I question, what a leg lariat from Jake Logan. Agility on display. Pitfall. Two count only here. I'm telling you, the sky is the limit for Jake Logan. Logan, if you are watching this right now, wherever you are in the world, remember that face, remember that name. It is absolutely one you're going to see here in this sport. But guess what? The man he's stomping on right now, Alex Kane, resembles that same comment. And I dare say, Kane, we've seen him fight back from behind many a time here in WWE. And the question is, can he overcome a man the size of Jake Logan with the strength, with the experience, with the agility? Just clubbing now is Logan here. Kane's covered up. Official finally counting on Jake Logan. You saw those were perhaps closed fist, I dare say. The pounding on Alex Kane. Kane is prone in the center of the ring. Now Jake heading up. Coming up the top of caught with the boot to the gut. Great move by Alex Kane. Kane's not slowing down. Going for the lariat, but a counter here by Logan. Dumping Kane head first. And I'm telling you, Jake Logan's feeling it. Not a lot of guys could get up after that. And it's going to save that springboard boots all connected. That would have been all she wrote, but it said Alex Kane struggling his way back to his feet. 
Beautiful T-Blown suplex. Kane has the WWE Unfaithful behind him, showing the strength. And the question, who will have the tenacity now to answer this 10 count? All the way up to five. Kane finally in the ropes, pulling himself up. Looks like he's going to be the one to be able to break this 10 count, almost at a stalemate situation. It would be horrible to see two of those on the same event. Ooh, forearm now from Logan. And another keeps catching Alex Kane. And all the momentum of Alex Kane being used against him. Here comes Jake Logan running forearm. And it's a very prone Alex Kane. And another forearm. How many of these can Alex Kane take? We won't have to find out. German suplex and holding on is Alex Kane. And another Alex Kane right now. Impressing raw strength on display. Well, a third. No, Jake Logan trying to fight off Kane. Caught though in the gut. And a gut wrench. Is this it? No. Amazing strength on display by Alex Kane, but... What is Jake Logan made of that he was able to survive that? Gut wrench into the power bomb, sit out, pin. Nope, not enough, but perhaps... The Strapists are coming down as the Suplex Assassin. We're gonna catch the Mark of Kane. But Jake with a counter. Catching Kane, pitfall. A hair away. What a counter by Jake Logan. Man, Alex Kane went from thinking he had this thing in the bag to Potentially be it out now. I'm curious if the lights are on there for Alex Kane. Logan now starting to regain those faculties. Now he might be getting what he wants there. Forearm from Kane. In fact, Olympic slam here. Pinfall. Two count only, but man, was that close. How impressive are both of these athletes? Two-time WWE 4 Internet Champion. Showing the confidence, psyching himself up here, but a knee! Perhaps Kane took a little too long to psych himself up and it said, caught! Blue Thunder Bomb, is this it? He got him! What a main event here. WWM Proving Ground. Jake Logan, Alex Kane pushing each other to the limit and then some, but tonight, was Jake Logan's night. I'll tell you, it's an emotional time right now here in WWN. The passing of WWN's Vice President of Operations, Mr. Keith Schneider. I can tell you how upset everyone has been here throughout all of WWN. What a main event here tonight. Even a show of respect. Jake Logan to Alex Kane. And vice versa, March the 13th, this very building, WWM WrestleFlex, the first responders spring into action. It is a tribute to Heath Schneider. We'll have a lot more info at WWNlive.com. That he is. Again, what a main event here tonight. WWM Proving Ground for Robbie K and Sideshow. I'm Trevin Adams. Thanks for joining us. And we hope you join us again soon.
English our textbook word for word. You get every single person in the WWN locker room. Basic, generic superstars. For me, I've taken out anybody and everybody that stepped in my path. So now, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter when it is. It doesn't matter where it is. If you hold WWN gold, I'm gunning for you. And if that makes you mad, if that pisses you off, if I've hurt your feelings, I'm Jake Logan. And if you don't like me, Fight me!